Well, if you've been filling up on gas the last month or the last 24 hours, you've mm -hmm. noticed a full tank of gas. Cost you a few extra bucks, if not a whole bunch of them. Gas prices on the rise across the nation. Arkansas is seeing an extra hit following the last month's winter storms. Our Katrin Asaf live at the pump in Little Rock with what's causing this spike. And Katrin, the big question is how long will it last? Well, Laura, Bob, you can see the gas prices at this location here are just about $2.59. That may not seem like a lot of money, but compared to the average in Little Rock for last month, which is $2.22, that's a pretty significant increase for just a difference of a few weeks. Now, the good news here is although gas prices aren't necessarily expected to go down anytime soon, this spike we're seeing should level out by April. Stopping for gas may sometimes feel like spinning a dial, with prices moving up and down almost every day. But the past few weeks have added up to 40 cents per gallon, an increase felt across the nation and here in the natural state. I have noticed in the past couple months that that's what's been um, going on. We talked with Catherine trying her luck at the pump. She believes the higher cost is due to more cars on the road. I think with the higher traffic, we're seeing definitely more. Um, increasing gas. She's not wrong. Gas prices dropped a year ago when the world went into quarantine. But according to AAA, that trend is over and fuel suppliers are struggling to catch up. Production cuts overseas to try to balance out that supply and demand. That's what's kind of caused the steady rise. Arkansas is seeing it twofold, with last month's winter storm shutting down regional refineries for days. U.S. production overall due to the winter storms was down about 40%. Uh, so what does that mean for drivers? While the spike is ending, we'll still see a steady rise in cost until oil prices stabilize. You know, it's just how they are. For Sophie Barnes, that isn't really an issue. Man, I just go to the gas station and get what I get. But for others... Oh, no. <laughs> Don't go in too high. They're ready to pay a bit less at the pump. Now, although prices have been rising nationally, Arkansas actually hasn't been hit the hardest. In fact, AAA tells me we're actually the sixth lowest state for gas prices in the nation. And if you want to be able to track local gas prices, you can go do so on our website, kark.com. We have a tool on there that you can use. Reporting in Little Rock, I'm Kate Renee Saf. Back to you.